What's up guys and welcome back to Broken Age for the PlayStation 4. In the last episode that we played as Shay, we were able to untie that pesky knot and we've just sort of made a little bit more progression through the game now, so maybe we could talk to him and he have a little bit more information. So, have you noticed that your ship's sort of shaking now? That's the heavy duty anti-gravity thruster you found warming up. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast us out of here. Oh man. Okay. See you later. Okay. Well, that's good. With all the things that we learned in Vela's side at this point, it's sort of getting me nervous, like, <laughs> what they don't know. But everything is shaking and going crazy now. They look so different in the ship's Cosmomnipedia. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we just gotta keep continuing on and looking around, talking to people. Hopefully now that we've got that completed, though, there's, like, more to accomplish in general. We still don't really have anything that can help with... Him. Maybe we can. I specifically remember that feed choking victim a cupcake is not one of the steps you learn in first aid. Are you positive? I'm pretty sure it might be a potential thing to do. All right, let's try this. Spoon. Shall we eat this cupcake? Sir, even I, who believe spoons can do anything, wonder what kind of monster would eat a cupcake with a spoon. <laughs> well, maybe he wasn't asking to eat it with you, but asking if we should just eat it in general. Let's talk to our pops, though. What does he have to say? Dad, how would you lower the pH? I would try to find something mildly acidic. Oh, what I wouldn't do for some splarg right now. So, cereal is acidic? No, it just helps me think. <laughs> All right then. Hmm. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. So what can we have that's mildly acidic? Is a cupcake good? Want a cupcake? No, thanks. I only like the kind your mother replicates. All right, well, if you don't think it'll help, we just got to keep running out. Oh, little seagull. Real seagulls, not made of yarn. <laughs> Hooray! Um, can we do something with the guy? Uh, here you go. Something tells me I shouldn't mess with these guys. All right, I'll leave them alone. We just need to keep messing with stuff until we find something new to do, though. Unfortunately, that's sort of our stance on things now. Maybe we can go back up to the cloud town and see what's going on. Oh, my gosh! Okay, he has this on him. Can I get that I for can't you? Reach it. Hey, everybody, this round's on. Hooray! How you doing, tree? Human. Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. Why does he never give a straight answer for anything? I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait, what were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. <laughs> Think. <laughs> Quick thinking. This guy is so silly. He's really silly, so it's just weird. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated with me. Hey, the jokes. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes are the best. Oh, now he's just being sort of, <laughs> he's being silly, but he's just all like, oh, I'm the best because I'm a tree. <laughs> Maybe that's why he takes it so to heart. Have you seen a mad looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. <laughs> why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh. Curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. What a jerk. I mean, he's so patriotic about being trees. You know, like being a part of the tree culture. That it just feels like he's above everybody. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, come on. You don't need that fish. I happen to think it brings an interesting asymmetry to my look. So back off. You were just complaining about it a moment ago. Hey, want to hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? How many lumberjacks does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to murder a tree to make a ladder, the other to change the light bulb. That's a reasonable number, actually. Okay, let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. What's the smallest full-grown tree you ever heard of? Well, some say the dwarf willow, but it's really no more than a shrub, if you ask me. 
Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, your mother's a dwarf willow? Your mother's a dwarf willow. Sir, that kind of low humor is not welcome here. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez, oh, don't you get it? Low humor? Dwarfs? Ugh, he's better at joking. <laughs> I guess it's clear who's humor impaired here. Jeez. I gotta make like a leaf and leave. <laughs> okay, kid. <laughs> well, we tried. Do we have anything though? Like, can we just give him this? Any idea how to make a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? No, but I'm impressed your first step is asking that question and not cut down a tree. Okay, well, let's just keep going then. Maybe the, I have a feeling that the uh, hexapal will know how to handle it, but I don't know how to get the hexapal. There's a lot of, it's still a lot of questions to answer here in Chase part of the story, isn't there? What's going on over here, Mr. Snake Man? I don't think anything interesting has changed here. Oh, wait, is the snake gone? I'm not sure. Nope, he's still here. <laughs> okay, then. So what's going on up here in Cloudland? Everything's gone. What happened to Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dictator Man? And what happened to Fathern? I'm not sure. Uh, oh man. This, is, this place seems barren now. Everybody's left it to do other cooler things, I guess. I mean, we could still help you with your egg. There's just so much going on right now, and I don't know where to go first. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're still having a hard time figuring out, like, the best case of things, really. It's just hard, because there's just so darn much. I mean, uh, hey. uh, we keep following, it's just like, hey! hey we already bought a cupcake! Uh, all right, we gotta keep looking around, find out what we can do. All right, then, so I think, well, let's see what happens if we give the cupcake to you. Uh, wait, 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 cupcake to you. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Aw, oh, Hoosker. That's the best part. <laughs> what? Oh man, he's In weird. Fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten. In it. <laughs> okay then. Oh, weird. Um. <laughs> well, we've made progress or something. Um. Now, what do we do with yeah. this? It still has dad spit on it. Ew. The worst kind of spit. Oh, I can agree. That might be like the worst kind of spit imaginable. Can we? Better not move it. I don't want to cheese off guys. I just don't know what to do now. Like, we got some little progress there, but what do we do with the cupcake now? Hey, girl. Want a cupcake? No? <laughs> she seems to be half awake right now, but I would like to go over here if it'll let me. Oh, it's actually letting me this time. Okay, then what's going on over here? Take us, take us down. We are in our prime. Eat our sweet rewards. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little... Eat our sacred. How about we just skip that line? Okay. What are they doing? They're making some type of rhyme. Return in time. All right, let's go and check out. This is what we've gotten peaches before with Vela, so what's going on with them? Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. Oh my. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Ooh. All right, well, we could, we could go for a duel. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. Indeed. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up but I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals, so if you have another stick handy. We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. Okay, then the battle's on as soon as I find myself a weapon. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? Yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> oh, they're mocking us now, but wait and see when they got the, when they get all Are the you bruises. Guys for a tree to talk to, because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh no, thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is, the answer. Ooh. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. 
So they just like to go place to place and find new things to worship? <laughs> That's sort of weird. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. I might be jumping the gun a bit, but okay. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our ropes. Oh my. But I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. Up from <laughs> I find it funny that they can't question the fact that there's that, that a tree of answers. He can't give it any questions. Can we still pull? Oh, the branch is broken, so we can't do that anymore. And then there's drinking sounds? What's going on down here? Uh. Oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> there we go. And there wasn't too much going on there, though. But we did get catch caught by the bird. There we go. All right. Oh, man. This place is no more dangerous than one of my fake missions. Yep, the cloud land is sort of stinky. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Okay, so what's going on down here? Because I kept on hearing drinking sounds, apparently. Is there somebody down here doing something? Maybe that one dude? Ah, whoa, whoa, it's over here. Um, hey, what's up? Oh, here he is. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. What? What do you What do you mean? What did I I took one. Um but why? How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hypercrypt. And I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? <laughs> I guess. Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. <laughs> Fourth wall broken. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. <laughs> Because healthiness is a good thing to rush. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something and the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing. I'm giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry, I don't have a cold or anything. <laughs> well, now I'm going to question it. What's the big healthy rush? Well... Recently, I was all hung up on my own under, on my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it, it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. Okay, <laughs> these life epith epiphanies a little silly. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized... McGee doesn't care about 3D Hypercrypt! She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But what I'm saying is that the high score, the juicing, it's okay if it's just for me. Oh, so basically he's just living for himself. I'm not doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. Because I don't think you're actually going to end up impressing nobody. <laughs> you're just drinking juice. So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, and look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, my. Oh. There are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. It's hard when it's covered by clouds. Get back to your juice. Bye. All right, this guy's sort of a slob. 
I don't think I mind just oh, she's making drink sounds as he stares at me. <laughs> That's a little awkward, but there we go. This guy's sort of a weird jerk. I'm gonna leave him alone, but there we go. We got two new items there. We got the peach, and then we got the juice drinker. I don't think we're gonna drink peach juice from it, though. I feel like that's not gonna be what we need to do. I don't wanna try and get a nasty cold and then Shay dies from type of unheard of disease, but either way, for now, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Broken Age. In the next episode, we'll continue as Vela on the ship and hopefully be able to find our way out of it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.